So let's talk about heel cups. All right. Uh, you can find heel cups at the drugstore, so even Chopper's Drug Mart or at a running store. Usually they have a little like a plastic kind of sheet or kind of a cushion, can be gel, goes in the back where just the heel is, and it kind of pushes the, the tissue from outside of the heel and it kind of compacts it inward so you get more tissue on the bottom uh, to give more support and absorption of the forces when you're walking or running or standing even. So when we're looking at shoes. Here's two different examples here. We have our kind of flat uh, shoe, not much in the back. You can see there's not much contour in the back of the heel to hold that kind of cupping inwards. This one has a little bit more contour. You can see how it kind of bows outwards and then comes underneath. So it's kind of a, a running shoe that goes in here, right? So with this, it's just gonna flatten out the bottom part. There's not gonna be much of that cushion being put underneath the heel to give that absorption of those forces. Uh, this one will have a little bit more absorption because of the bowing outwards going inwards to give that kind of heel cup look and feel for it. Uh, you can buy those inserts for shoes that are flatter too. So if you like wearing your, your, you know, your nice little shoes that are going on or dress shoes or whatever, you can buy that gel pack of that heel cup that's going there. Sometimes Dr. Scholl's will have something as well uh, in the drugstore. You just have to look for it. Ask somebody if you're not sure about it. Even probably the, the health store, which is the Shoppers Drug Mart uh, uh, Health, I believe it is. You can find some of those. They'll have some good, um, good appliances to put in there. Now, when we're looking at uh, an orthotic, so the orthotic you can see kind of has a cupping kind of motion. So from the side, it kind of comes up and from the back, it kind of cups in through here. So the, the sides are already raised when you have an orthotic. So you're usually pretty good at uh, having a heel cup already built into the orthotic. And usually they can add more of a heel cup if that's something that you uh, need to put in there because of saying you have recurrent plantar fasciitis or just uh, foot pain as, as well. And you can get a, a, a good one that uh, is contrary to your foot. Now people, often will ask me too about how do I know it has a good orthotic. So orthotic should be basically along your arch um, anytime you're standing on it. So when I stand on it, my foot should be contoured to this part of the arch um, when I'm doing that. And then even when I bring my toes up and I bring the orthotic up, it should still stay in contact with your arch the whole way through. All right, it shouldn't be too high that's causing some type of uh, uh, discomfort. Because if it's doing that, it's going to hurt when you walk on it for long periods of time. So that's one way you can do it. There shouldn't be any spaces on that orthotic. So since these are mine, right, I'll bring this down a little bit here so you can see. Good. So with the orthotic here, I place my foot in here. See how it's contoured all the way through. I lift it up. I still have it there. You can see how it's still really contour towards my foot. There's not too many spaces in there. You're not seeing a space underneath here or even to the side. So that's usually a pretty good indication that your orthotic has a good arch support for you. Always break in your orthotics um, one hour at a time each day so you're not doing it all at once because that can cause uh, a big discomfort in the foot since you're not used to it. It's like breaking in anything. You don't wear them for uh, the whole time right away. Now just to look at some other shoes. So this is a more of a flat sandal. Obviously there's no heel cup whatsoever. That's not gonna help out with a lot of the pressure that's gonna go on the heel. Crocs, you gotta make sure that they are your size. If they're too big, you're not gonna get that cupping action anyway just because the pressure is just gonna splay it out. But they do have a heel cup in them as you can probably, hopefully you can see that there, right? There's the cupping of that. So they can be a comfort, especially since the insoles are usually foam and they're pretty lax uh, in there, but they do wear down quickly if you wear them a lot. So you'll see some of this just kind to starting to wear. And this is for minimal use. We don't use them that much. So uh, you might want to replace them quite often. Anyways, those are some good uh, foot supports that you, you hopefully have looked at. I've been asked about Birkenstocks. Those are good as well. They have a good arch support and they do have that kind of heel cupping uh, to begin with as well. Something that has an arch support usually has a heel cup with it anyway. So look around. If you have any more questions, let me know and hopefully that will help you pick up the right footwear and get a heel cup in there to help with that plantar fasciitis pain. All right, thanks. Take care and remember, improve your health.